guys and welcome back to my channel. Today as you know from the title it's a huge MAC haul. I normally don't shop that much at MAC or in such quantities at MAC but I thought I was at duty free. It's Manchester. I was getting in the holiday mode as well and then I thought right I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna shop and just buy a few things from MAC and then I ended up buying a ton. So this video might be a bit long I didn't warn you in my Sephora haul, but grab a drink, grab a tea, grab snacks, because this is gonna be a long one, but I hope you enjoy it. So let's get straight into it. Before I get into the haul, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome, my name's Sarah, and welcome to my world. I really hope you stick around. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm really active on Instagram, so go and check me out on there. Uh, yeah, now we're getting into it. This is the bag. It's a tiny bag and it's battered because it's been around and I haven't really had a look inside it since I got back from Mexico, but there's quite, quite a bit of stuff in there. Um, so I'm just gonna just pick at random and I'm really sorry about my hair. I don't know where this fuzziness has come from, but please bear with me. The first item is this. So I got the MAC Prep and Prime in Coconut. This is the summer packaging for this year. I, I just loved it. I fell in love with it. It was so colourful. I didn't want a full size one, but come on, look at this packaging. It's stunning. And it just screams summer. And I just thought, right, I need to get it. And I've got a Fix Plus before, I've used it before, so I know what I'm getting myself in for. But this one is coconut and it's 100 millilitres. And I believe that this was 75 pence more than the original uh, Fix Plus because of the packaging. And I thought it was really cute and it will look nice on the vanity. So that's the first item. I only went for a travel size Fix Plus. So I got the travel size one as well. I have tried quite a few other brands but and no one does it as good as this but if you actually know a good setting spray or prep and prime please comment down below and let me know so i can try it but mac you just you can't go wrong with mac it's just the best of the best so got these two i fell in love with these lashes and i've worn them before i've purchased these before as well and these are the number 34 uh, lashes and as you can see it just goes inwards there and then it just flutters out and those are my go-to kind of lashes. As I mentioned, it is the number 34 and the light brown. So they're not as obvious as the black lashes as I'm like wearing now, but these are just so subtle, but yeah, really effective. And every time I wear these lashes, I get so many compliments on them and I thought I'd buy another pair, so that is the lashes there. I love MAC blushes and I wanted something for the summer. So I got this, the Sheer Shimmer Blush in the shade Dolly Mix. And it's just a really nice pinky colour. I've also bought this shade before and I've run out of it. So I've got another one because I just like it so much. With this blush, it is universal pretty much. Every skin tone, would suit this colour. If you are fair skin, it would just look like you've got pinch rosy cheeks. If you are olive skin or brown skin or even dark skin, this blush is for you. It's just so universal. Very, very pigmented also as well. So just keep an eye on it. Just a little bit goes a long way. I bought my first Dolly Mix, MAC Dolly Mix blush back in 2008 and it finished probably about a year ago or two years ago so it lasts a long time because a little bit just does go along with it. it's well worth the money before i go on holiday I, and i know there's a mac there i make a list in my head as to what i want and this was one of them so the next item is the mac pro longwear uh, concealer in nc42 this is by far the best full coverage concealer I've ever worn and that's a massive statement but trust me you guys when I say this the MAC Pro Longwear concealers can do no wrong it's just the best concealer out there it is pricey but it lasts you years I've still got one at the moment and I'm probably halfway through 
and the only reason why I used it sparingly because I'm scared of it running out so I've got another one so I'm going to start going ham on that one and just start using it left right and centre um, so that this is just amazing uh, so the next item I got was the MAC oh, the MAC I cull in the shade Smolder. I was running out of this as well and this is like a, a love it or hate it product but this is just a really nice go-to eyeliner. What I really like about this eyeliner is that it works with you so if you want to smudge out your eyeliner it really does smudge it and it's just I think this one is a love it or hate it kind of product because I have heard a lot of people say that it does bleed under your eye if you just want it in a precise way but I love it, it works with me, if I want it a certain way it just it, it just gets it, it gets the job done and also I was running out so I've got like that much left so really happy I've got a new one. The other item that I got was an eyebrow item. If you've, I don't know if you've seen my eyebrow tutorial and I use this. It is the eyebrow crayon in the shade Stud. I really like this. Before Anastasia Beverly Hills came out, I was using this and I'm still using this today. If I was to describe this, it's just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, the first ever eyebrow uh, pencil. And it's just like that but I feel like it's better. It's so thin, you guys, you barely can see it. But what I like about this is that it gives you the brush strokes that you need, and it's a dark brown color, and I really like this. So you just roll it up like that, and it's just really fine. It does gives you really fine lines. I'll just draw a little bit on it, and I'll bring it closer. So that's what it looks like, and it gives you the most amazing hair strokes. And I really like it for here, so it really works well with me. This item is really versatile because I not only use it for eyebrows, but I pop it in my handbag and if I don't have sort of any, an eyeliner or anything, I use this as an eyeliner as well and it just works like a dream. So just a couple of hints and tips for you there as well. And also it does work as a lip liner because I've used that before as well because I had a dark lipstick but I didn't have a liner and I use this as a liner as well. So there's a lot of versatility in this um, eyebrow pencil. The next items I'm gonna talk to you about, I'm super embarrassed about because I bought a lot of lip items and I, I'm super embarrassed because I bought two of the same. How embarrassing is that? If you've seen my Sephora video, I have a habit of buying two of everything that I love. This was not intentional. I bought this and I don't... The girl at the Mac store must have thought, oh my God, she's so stupid. I'm gonna sell this to her anyway. She let me buy two of this. So I bought two nice and spicy pro long wear lip liners and I really really like these these are like my go-to lip liners I think it's probably because I wanted to buy saw have I bought saw oh my god I have bought saw I wanted to buy saw and then I bought nice and two nice and spices <sighs> Sarah so this is the pro long wear the idea of pro long wear is that it might be slightly more expensive than the other MAC items, but it really stands by what it says. It is definitely pro long wear. It lasts far longer than most of the other lip liners. The nice and spicy lip liner is, is a very sort of brownie rose color, if that makes sense. Majority of the time, I actually just wear this by itself without a lipstick because it'll just last just as long as a lipstick. Next one, I've been hunting down and hunting down for a really long time and the MAC stores near me never have this, they're always sold out. So I got the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil Crayon. It's just a brownie colour. Um, you, you probably all have stripped down already but this is the first time I've bought it and, it, and I really like it. it this is going to be my autumn go-to colour and that's what it is, just that one there. Really nice brownie tone, matte lip liner this is going to be my go-to autumn winter colors because we're getting there have you seen the weather outside it's raining outside i'm ready for autumn and the next one is the mac lip liner in saw this is everything 
I love it. I know you guys might be thinking you bought pretty much the same colours, but to me, each colour is different in tone and that's the MAC Saw. So that's nice and spicy, that's Saw and that is stripped down. And each one of them have a different palette. If you like to overline your lips and you're out there to buy a lip liner that just makes your lip look plump and natural, if that makes sense, this lip liner is for you. Every time I want to overline my lips, and the only time I actually overline my lips is when I'm using this so colour because it just makes your lips look seamless and it honestly does work. So a tip for you there as well, if you want to learn how to overline your lips or you're looking for the natural kind of overlining lip, then this, this definitely is the colour for you. The final item in my bag is a lipstick and it is the matte lipstick in Kinda Sexy. Oh, I love this. This colour is my jam. I can ha wear this all year round. It's just one of my favourite lipsticks. I think I've been through about two of these. I think I've got two empties right now that need to be returned to MAC and it's just a really nice brownie, brownie nudie tone. And I'll just give you a swatch and I'll put it besides all of those swatches and that is it. So nice and spicy goes really well with that. Spice will also go really nice with that and salt will also go nice with that. It is a lighter tone colour but it just looks so nice on every skin tone and I would really recommend this colour for anybody who wants to buy a MAC lipstick, who's not really sort of daring and in going out into the bold colours like this red. I would definitely recommend Kinda, Kinda Sexy. It's a matte colour, there's no sheen to it whatsoever and you'll be thanking me. And that's it you guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.